Hello everyone! For today's video lesson ay igaguide ko kayo sa inyong learning tasks sa inyong week 2, fourth quarter. Hello everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel! Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Just keep on watching! Good day everyone! Bago nyo sagutan ang learning test number 1 ay kailangan kabisado na ninyo yung naituro ko sa nakaraang video. Kung hindi nyo para papanood yon, i-click nyo na lang dito sa taas or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin. Tungkol sa Exterior Angle Inequality Theorem, Triangle Inequality Theorem, at Hinge and the Converse Theorem. Dito sa ating learning test number 1, use the figure at the right to complete the inequality statements. Again, inibahan ko yung mga value dito upang sagutan nyo yung nasa module ninyo. At kung walang figure dyan sa module ninyo, kindly ask your teacher na lang kasi hindi ko rin makita kung ano yung figure na nandyan. I-review lang natin kung ano nga ba yung exterior angle inequality theorem. So, the measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is greater than the measure of either of the two remote interior angles. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Itong angle 4 is always greater than siya dito sa remote interior angle na dalawa. So, yung measurement ng angle 4 ay greater than siya sa measurement ng angle 2. At pwede rin yung measurement ng angle 4 ay greater than the measurement of angle 1 na 52 degrees. So, dito sa number 1, yung measurement ng angle 1 is less than 2 watt. Okay, babalik na rin lang natin yung statement. Since mas malaki yung measurement ng angle 4, ibig sabihin yung angle 1 ay less than siya sa measurement ng angle 4. So, ganun lang siya. Then, yung measurement ng angle 4 naman is greater than measurement of angle 1 or pwede ring measurement of angle 4 is greater than the measurement of angle 2. So, ganyan lang yung ating number 1 at number 2. Next, number 3, if the measure of angle 1 is 52 degrees and the measurement of angle 2 is 68 degrees, then measurement of angle 4 is greater than what? Kagaya ng number 2 natin, yung measurement ng angle 4 ay greater than measurement ng angle 1 at measurement ng angle 2. Ibig sabihin, measurement of angle 4, kunin na lang natin yung ito kasi mas malaki naman ito. Or pwede rin namang yung 52. Measurement of angle 4 is greater than 68 degrees. Next, number 4. If the measure of angle 2 is 100 degrees and the measurement of angle 3 is 25 degrees, then measurement of angle 4 is greater than what? Again, pwede namang yung angle 4 ay greater than 25 degrees at pwede rin yung greater than 100 degrees. Okay? Then, number 5, if the measure of angle 1 is 50 degrees, 52 ito, And the measurement of angle 3 is 20 degrees. Then, measurement of angle 4 is greater than. Greater than pa rin naman siya sa angle 1 at saka angle 3. So, greater than 52 degrees. Okay? Next, learning task number 2. Inibahan ko yung mga values dito para swagatan ninyo yung nasa mojo ninyo. Number 1, which of the following combinations could be the three sides of a triangle? By triangle inequality theorem, in any triangle, the sum of the lengths of any two sides is greater than the length of each third side. Ang ibig sabihin lang nun, kapag i-add natin yung dalawang side, kailangan mas malaki siya sa pang third na side. So, dito sa letter A, ang gagawin natin, i-add muna natin yung 6 tsaka 7. So, 6 plus 7 is 13. Greater than, ano yung pang third side? That is 13. Is 13 greater than 13? No, kasi equal sila. Para makita nyo kung paano isolve, 6 plus 13 is equal to 19. Greater than ba siya sa 7? Yes. And then, 7 plus 13 is equal to 20. Greater than ba siya sa 6? Yes. Pero dito sa statement number 1, hindi siya 
greater than. So, meaning letter A, A na pwede. Next, letter B, 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. Greater than ba siya 7? No. So, hindi na rin pwede yung letter B. Then, letter C, 6 plus 17 is equal to 23. Greater than ba siya sa 21? Yes. 17 plus 21 is equal to 38. Greater than ba siya sa 6? Yes. 6 plus 21 is equal to 27. Greater than ba siya sa 17? Yes. So, ibig sabihin, letter C yung sagot ko dito. Dito naman sa letter D, 7 plus 7 is equal to 14. Equal naman siya dito sa third side, so hindi rin pwede yung letter D. Okay? Next, number 2. Two sides of a triangle are 17 and 10. Which of the following cannot be the third side? By triangle inequality theorem, dapat yung sum ng 17 tsaka 10 ay greater than sa third side. Ibig sabihin, hanapin natin yung greater than 27. Kasi 17 plus 10 is 27. So, 11 ba yun? Is 27 greater than 11? Correct. Is 27 greater than 15? Correct Then Is 27 greater than 23? Correct. Is 27 greater than 27? No, kay, kasi equal sila. So, ang sagot ko dito ay 27 letter D. Next, number 3. Suppose two sides of a triangle both measures 4 units. Which can be the possible measure of the third side and circle all the possible numbers. So, kapag meron daw tayong triangle na equal yung dalawang side niya, that is 4 and 4 naman ito, ilan dapat ang pang third side niya? Kapag 1 ba ito? So, 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. Greater than ba siya sa 4? Yes. So, 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. Greater than ba siya sa 1? Yes. So, pwede yung 1. Pwede ba dito ang 2? 2 plus 4 equals 6. Greater than 4, pwede. 4 plus 4 equals 8. Greater than 2 siya. So, pwede yung 2. Pwede yung 1. Then, 3 naman. Kapag 3, 3 plus 4 equals 7. Greater than 4 siya. 8 is greater than 3 din. Then, kapag 4 naman ito, 4 plus 4 is greater than 4. So, 8 is greater than 4 din. Then, kapag 5 naman ito, so, pag 5 yan, 8 is greater than 5, pwede. 9 is greater than 4, pwede rin. Kapag 6 naman ito, so, 4 plus 6 is equal to 10, greater than 4 siya. 4 plus 4 equals 8, greater than 6 siya. Okay, so, pwede rin yung 6. Pwede ba ang 7? 7 plus 4 is equal to 11, greater than 4 naman siya. And 8 is greater than 7 din. Pwede ba ang 8? So, 8 is equal to 8, meaning to say hindi pwede yung 8. So, hindi pwede ito. Since wala namang 0 na measurement, so hindi rin kasali yung 0. Then, yung number 9 naman, i-add natin ito, dapat greater than the third side siya. So, 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. And 8 is less than 9, meaning hindi rin pwede yung 9. At hindi na rin pwede yung 10. So, yan lang. 1 to 7 lang yung pwede. Okay? Next, two sides of the triangle are 13 and 51. What is the range of the length of the third side? So, ang gagawin nyo lang dito, isubtract nyo muna yung number. 51 minus 13 is equal to 38. And then, Yung x natin or yung third side natin dapat greater than 38 siya but less than, i-add nyo muna, 13 plus 51 is equal to 64. So, alin dito sa choices ang katumbas nito? Hanapin nyo na dyan, madali na lang yan, okay? Next, number 5, two legs of a triangle are 7.3 and 17.2 respectively. Given that the length of the third side is an integer, what is the largest possible length for the third side? So, ang tinatanong i dito is yung largest. Pwede ba yung 24? So, kapag i-add natin 7.3 plus 17.2, that would be equal to 24.5. Since ang tinatanong is an integer, ang pinakamalapit dito ay yung 24. So, yun na yung sagot. Okay. Next, dito naman sa learning task number 3, apply the hinge theorem to solve 
for the value of x given the figure. If two sides of a triangle are congruent to two sides of a second triangle and the included angle of the first triangle has a greater measure than the included angle of the second triangle, then the third side of the first triangle is longer than the third side of the second triangle. Ang ibig sabihin lang yan, the larger the angle, the longer the side. Okay? So, naituro ko na rin yan sa nakaraang video. So, alin dito ang mas malaki? ba diba, mas malaki yung 38 degrees kaysa yung 30 degrees? So, yung 12x minus 7 is greater than 3x plus 2. Kasi mas malaki yung 38 degrees kaysa yung 30 degrees. Then, isolve na natin yung inequality. Transpose natin yung positive 3x dito sa kabila. Mag-change ng sign magiging negative 3x. Then, greater than, kopyahin lang yung positive 2. Yung negative 7, transpose natin dito magiging positive 7. Then, simplify. 12x minus 3x is equal to 9x. 2 plus 7 is equal to 9. Para makuha natin yung x, i-divide natin both sides by... 9 para makancel yung 9. Okay? Ang matira na lang ay x. Then, 9 divided by 9 is equal to 1. Meaning, ang mga possible values natin ay lahat ng numbers greater than 1. Ano yung mga numbers greater than 1? That is, 2 hanggang positive infinity. Okay? So, yun lamang maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Sana nakatulong ito sa inyong mga modules and activities. Kung meron kayong mga katanungan or clarifications, just comment down below. At kung nagustuhan ninyo ang video na to, please like, subscribe, at share nyo na rin sa mga classmates ninyo. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy, at mag-aral ng mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!